Hello again, it's Hugh here and Ruth with me here. Uh, we came across this thing in Natural News today, yet another story about the Ebola. And uh, just as a background to the story, so now one of these doctors here is floating around New York City. And what, what temperature did he have? 103 degrees. 103 degrees, so this guy's got a nice little fever going. Self-quarantined. Self-quarantined. Well, great. So, the authorities now. Uh, this is now the second one after that other lady who was, what was her name? There we go, Dr. Nancy Snyderman. Do you remember her? Yes. Yes, I remember her. Yeah, she had a big gab about, oh, you got to get your, your flu shots and this and that, and now she's violating her quarantine and floating around as well. And uh, yeah, this is a natural news. It actually had the headline on, on their front page. There's the headline right there. And then you click on that and get here. So now what we were talking about was now all these wonderful authorities that are inept as is normally. So what do you reckon what's going to happen now? Ruth? It seems to me that these the self-quarantine isn't going to work. and. The risk of Ebola being spread through the city is huge and people will start to, to scream soon that something needs to be done about the quarantine and then the government's most likely going to step in and... Ship them all off to camps, Ship yeah? them all off to Ebola camps. Ebola camps. Can you imagine that? Like leper camps in, 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 in Sudan. You know, you can uh -huh. And if you have the bad fortune not to actually have Ebola, yeah. it won't be long till you get it. Yes, yeah, that's right. It, it's all a very worrying situation. I, I don't know about you, Ruth, but I do find it deeply annoying. The You know, the millions have been spent on all these wonderful government agencies who are going to do all these wonderful things, and of course it's going to end up. Then the best they'll be able to come up with is, hey, let's stick them all in a camp, right? Uh, we might as well have saved ourselves the trouble and the bother and just have dealt with it ourselves, I suppose. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I don't have the answers, but one thing's for sure, uh, neither do they, and I'm not charging in anybody gazillions to come up with no answer, you know? No, they can't keep these people out of the country, they're just going to keep letting them in. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, signing off, very happy note. The, the, the Ebola thing is all over the news now, and who knows what will happen. But uh, certainly, if you're waiting for the government to come and help you out, man, you're in a <laughs> you're in a world of hurt. We need to plan for this. There's there are lots of resources there. You know. Anyway, signing off. See you. Good night. <laughs>